Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on vectors. So a vector is a quantity that has both a magnitude and a direction. As if I draw a vector like this and call it A, then the magnitude is the length of the arrow and the direction is obviously the direction that the arrow is pointing in. As if I draw another vector then and call it B, so A is 3 to the right, B is 2 up, uh, then we can add these two vectors together. Uh, so to do that, We'll draw A, uh, which is 3 to the right, so that's A, and B, which is 2 upwards from the endpoint of A. Uh, so we'll call that vector A plus B. And then similarly, we can subtract vectors. Uh, so if we wanted to have a vector that was A minus B, uh, we draw out A again. Uh, but then this time, uh, because it's minus B, we'd go in the other direction from the endpoint of A. Uh, so that would be minus B. And then the vector then would be the diagonal, which is A minus B. Now we can also uh, express scalar multiples of a vector. Uh, so we can multiply vectors by a scalar quantity. So if we go back to our vector A, which was 3 to the right, uh, let's say we wanted to have the vector 3A. Uh, so what that is, is it's just A plus A plus A. Uh, so therefore, that would be the vector A plus A plus a, uh, so that would be 3a. So what about a more complicated vector then? So if we bring back b, and if you remember, the vector a plus b looked like this. So that was a, that was b, and then a plus b was the diagonal, like so. Uh, so let's say we wanted to have the vector 2 times a plus b. Uh, well, if you expand these brackets out, you can see that that uh, is the same as 2a plus 2b. So if we draw that out, we get 2a, so that's a, a, and then 2b from the endpoint, so b, b. So the vector 2a plus 2b uh, is the same as 2 lots of a plus b. Uh, so we can say that these are scalar multiples of each other. So that's uh, this vector here, 2 lots of a plus b, is a scalar multiple of a plus b. So what does a scalar multiple mean? Uh, well, it means they have the same direction. So in other words, this line here, the 2a plus 2b, is parallel to the a plus b line. So let's take a look at some vector notation now. Uh, so let's consider three points here, here, and here. Let's call them x, y, and z. Now, if we want to express a vector between points x and y, uh, so that looks like this, uh, then we can write that as x, y, with an arrow over the top in the direction from x to y. So that indicates that it's going from x to y and not from y to x. Uh, now, let's call that vector a. Uh, and now, when we write a vector, uh, make sure you underline it. So usually in a question, they'll be given in bold, uh, but that just underlining it or putting it in bold just highlights that it's a vector. And then from y to z, uh, let's call this the vector b. Uh, so again, we can write this as y to z with an arrow over the top. So that is the same as b. And then let's call x to z uh, the vector c. So x, z equals c. So let's say we wanted to have a vector running from z to x uh, rather than x to z. Uh, so let's write that as z to x. Uh, and as you can see, that runs in the opposite direction to the line C, or the vector C. Uh, so we can say that it is equal to minus C, because it's in the opposite direction and it's the same size. Uh, we can also combine vectors. So let's say we're going from point X to point Y. Uh, so we can express that like so, so X to Y. Uh, now that is obviously equal to A, uh, but we can also go the long way around. So if we went from X to Z, uh, which is the same as C, and then we went from z to y, uh, which is the same as minus b. And then we can say that xy equals c minus b. And that is obviously equal to a, uh, because xy is equal to a. And remember to underline your vectors. Uh, so to summarize, you can express the directions between any two points in terms of the vectors a, b, and c. Now vectors can be some of the most challenging questions that you'll see. Uh, so it's important that you get a lot of practice in. 
You can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. You get instant feedback on all of them and you can see the solutions, find out where you went wrong and so on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight over there.